Well, happy entering the holiday scribes. It's that time of year where everything gets a little bit chillier. Absolutely get excited for holiday movies and I usually take the time to take it all in during the December and November months because pretty much the entertainment industry is dead for those months. Today is a bit of a story time, which I very rarely do, but it does have a lesson at the end because you know I like to give you a little bit of information about the industry. So you may have noticed that there have been a ton of people on LinkedIn, on Twitter, on social media platforms, kind of reaching out to a lot of their connections to say, hey, our companies may have gotten rid of my department and I'm out there looking for another job. So that was my alarm because it's time to take out my pumpkin love cake. <laughs> so, um, Okay, so I'm back and of course may look a little different, but cake is out, delicious and super aromatic. I definitely recommend baking during this time of year because it smells delicious. It just, the whole house, just no candles needed and you get to eat it later. So, so as for my story time, I myself was part of a company who was also getting rid of a specific department in which I was a part of. So it's back to the drawing board for me. But of course, during the exact same time that my company was announcing this, there were many others that were also announcing this very, very difficult time for many different employees. But that's okay because I've been a freelancer before, so I'm really very used to having to switch to different roles or different careers or different paths. I've been a production assistant, I've been a photographer, a videographer, and of course then I've had my stable jobs that have also been somewhat part-time to full-time, audio-visual technician. That's what leads me to my next part of this journey, which is I actually had an upcoming scheduled interview for Disney Studios super excited. I'd applied a lot of times before to the studio, as you can imagine most people in entertainment do, and I was super excited. I spent quite a long week preparing for it. So one day before my interview comes, there was an announcement in the trades. And if you're not familiar with the trades, the trades are Hollywood Reporter, Variety. They're the reputable sources that have entertainment business announcements and news. So I highly recommend you actually get familiar with them and you read up every time they put out something new. So in reading the trades, I saw that one day before my interview, it had been announced by the CEO, Bob Chapek, that they were going to be making some reductions in staffing and trying to cut costs to save some money because they did not have a good third quarter from what Variety and the Hollywood Reporter have stated. Well known that they were having some financial issues in the quarter that didn't meet their expectations, but they still were building in other things like in their streaming business. Now it's really important to pay attention to the trades because they sure do dictate a lot of the future if you're paying attention. The very next day I did have my phone interview. However, at the very beginning, once they called me, they did mention to me that they were closing positions. So as far as an actual interview, I got the interview call. I did not get the actual interview. But because of the news that came out the previous day and because I was on top of it, I actually understood and knew from a business perspective why they were going to be closing roles and why things had changed so quickly in the company. We know that from the entertainment news that there have been a lot of companies who have been feeling the effects of the pandemic and they have been closing many different roles within their company also. So it wasn't very, very big surprising news to me that Disney would probably be doing the same thing until they figured out if they were on stable ground. It helped me pivot as quickly as possible and I was okay with that because I understand that the industry changes and evolves and it's still a business. You have to come at everything from a business perspective. I myself run a small side business and I have done freelance before, so I understand a whole lot about having to maintain your costs during a certain period of time and 
that you do have to sometimes make some tough decisions. Well, that's my full story time about the interview that wasn't. I'm still really grateful for the opportunity of knowing that I did have a chance at a really awesome position with a studio. In the meantime, I'm gonna be working on some other creative endeavors. So if you want, head over to my Etsy page, Tweed and Pen Co, and you can find really cool enamel pins like this one and some others that I have up on my website where you can find really cool other merch such as writing shirts. If you're doing NaNoWriMo, you might wanna get a 50K shirt that I've got up there. I have some new designs which are really fun. And of course, I do have some filmmaker merch too. So if you're looking for that, go check out my Redbubble and Etsy. Redbubble primarily has a bunch of stickers, but you can put them anywhere like on your Pelican case or on your laptop case. You might also want to take a look down below for some affiliate links. I do have a $30 off your Arc Studio membership today. See you in the next one, scribes.